Hey, sorry, I just freaking dropped my mouse to my computer. <laughs> Go me, right? First start of the day. It's a clutch moment. Yippee. Let's see if my mouse still works. There we go. All right. Let's wait for some people to pop, 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 pop in. Um, I've got some things that I want to show you that I got today while I was out and about doing my errands. Had a few extra dollars, so I went shopping. Ah, hi, Tender. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Mama. Hi, Linda. Hi, Mary. And all the ones that I have not said. Yeah, uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail, and I get what I'm talking about. Hang on. Urgh. Oh, oh dear God, I just didn't break something. I'm having an Emily moment today. Oh, my God. I have been the worst clutch today you've ever seen. There we go. Let's move that around. Here we go. That way I can see what time I do. What the heck is that? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I went and ran some errands today. Um, some window shopping and some shopping. Hi, Joyce. Um, and I wanted to show you guys um, first what we're going to be doing, and then I will show what I've got. We are going to be making today, I promised this, uh, Wednesday, but Mama Wanda said she wasn't going to be able to be here, so uh, I waited until today, and what we're going to do is we're going to be making a box of happiness, basically a Christmas ornament that folds up into a cube. We're going to uh, we're gonna cut this out, and we're going to make a template. This is the template, and we're going to make the box out of just a piece of regular cardboard that I got in uh, a piece of mail so this this is the perfect size it's not too thick not too thin it's sturdy and we're gonna uh, cut this up and trace it to here or we can even just use this as a template who knows but that is the one plan for today and I'm not sure what else after that because I don't know how long that's gonna take so um, I'll be back in a few when I let the chickens out. Okay, Melissa. We'll see you in a few. Cluck, cluck. Get to clucking. <laughs> Alrighty. I want to show you the things that I got at Walmart. And you remember how I was telling you that, that I needed to get me a new glue gun? Well, guess what? I got me one. Look at that. Nice. It's a high temp. Nice, 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 nice. For something for this. Like five bucks at Walmart. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yep, that was my first first little splurge was get me a new glue gun because mine, mine totally is beat, don't, gone, shot. Hit the green road, the golden road. <laughs> and then I got me some of the, the glue guns. Uh, glue gun sticks to uh, go along with it. You can't buy a glue gun without getting glue sticks. So these are one of some of my favorites. So um, I also got uh, I got me some really pretty white feathers. Really pretty. I don't know how. I don't know what type of feathers they are, but they are pretty. Hi Sherry. Hi Jada. So yeah, we might we might play with these sometime. I also found this in the little uh, you know where you can get your napkins and stuff. I found this in there, little tiny snowflakes. They're little confetti, little confetti uh, snowflakes. So I'm a little bit more simple than what we were doing yesterday. I wished I'd have found this earlier. We could have used these instead of the big old snowflakes. Ninety-seven cents, and uh, I also found. Some really pretty iridescent ribbon that we might use on this box but we don't know because we haven't seen what else I got in the second bag down here mm -hmm. so it's really thin uh, metallic ribbon and then guess what I got me some red glitter I was fussing about it so much yesterday I went and got me some red glitter that way I could use it yay add it to my glitter stash 
Then, I'm going to be making me some gesso soon, so I had to get me some, a big jar of uh, apple barrel paint. And this only cost me $3.47 for this, and the other bottles that they had were like $2.47 for 8 ounces. And so, I looked at this, and I looked at the other, other big jar, and so I'm like, I'm scoring on this. Because you're paying more for the the eight ounce bottles versus this right here, and it's sixteen. So I got this. So I'm gonna make some gesso out of that soon. And then I could beat myself, but I went ahead and got me another bottle of um, Ailing's Tacky Glue. But you'll see why here in just a second why I'm gonna beat myself for this because I went to Walmart first. So keep that in mind. But I uh, also got me some more paints, and of course I had to get me some small bottles of white. Then I've got some Flamenco red paint, and then some multi uh, multi 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 surface uh, spiced berry. I had to uh, kind of pee up on my my paints because I ran very very clear smack out of some paints <laughs> when I was painting for Halloween. And then I've got some brown this time. Melted chocolate. It's really pretty. Alien goo? Alien goo? What the heck? <laughs> and then I got just some regular yellow. And then behind that there is a Pale daffodil. And then some real pretty winter green, green. And then just some regular orange, some harvest orange, some real pretty like fall orange. And then another jack o' lantern orange because I ran, I ran almost out of this orange for Halloween. And then I've got candy pink. It's really a really really soft pink, almost like bubble gum. Very pretty. Oh. Uh, can't remember where my camera is because sometimes I set this thing up different. <laughs> and then I've got another chocolate bar, another brown, and another another one which is called light mocha. It's almost like a vanilla color, like cappuccino coat. It's really pretty. I like it. Almost, almost looks like the cream you put in your coffee. And then I got some more jet black and. Holly Branch Green and Kiwi Green. So I racked up on some of my paints that I needed. I'm going to have to buy another shoe box for my paints. What do you guys think? Yep, I think so. Now, this next bag, um, is it, is it right here? Nope, oh, it's over here. Oh, I about fell my ass. At the Dollar Tree, they had these little bitty bottles of Aileen's Tacky Glue. And they are three fluid ounces. And I got this, which is eight. So I've got three different size bottles. Of eight, actually four, excuse me. I've got a little tiny one. It's about that big. I got multi multi bottles of Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I've got four of those. So I paid $4 for 369, 12 ounces versus $4 for eight ounces. So I could just kick myself and they had a whole shelf of these things. Yeah. And then I picked up the only bottle of Mod Podge they had because sometimes having a bottle of that on hand is really awesome. Because I don't have to sit there and shake all my other stuff up. In the end, I found this pretty stuff that we're probably going to bling up our box with. They're little, uh, they're sticky, uh, they're, they're sticker snowflakes, glitter stickers. They didn't have these the last time I went. These little snowflakes. They've got, uh, they're glittery. I don't know if y'all can tell from the 
camera angle here and it's not wanting to show. But yeah, it's got glittery on it. And then we got some little pom-poms and I'm going to tell you what we're probably going to make with that. Aliens glue, alien to what? Two eight Emily. Oh ha! And then we have little googly eyes. Oops, alien goo. Two. Oh, alien goo to an Emily. Oh, okay. It's got all different sizes of little googly eyes. And if y'all are getting the getting the concept. Clothespins. Do you remember those little reindeer I was talking about? Those little funny face things that I was talking about? That's what we're going to be making with all of these little, these little things. Are you having trouble uh, typing today? <laughs> and then to beat all... I've seen, I've, I found a, a um, stamping, a stamp pad. It's black. So that is awesome. Kiki, I just seen you pop in. How did your, uh, how did your doctor's appointment go? And somebody had told me. The last time I went to the store and, I, and they asked me if I had any cookie cutters, and I told them no. I'd have to go get some the next time I went. Well, guess what? I went and got me some cookie cutters, some Christmas cookie cutters. So we've got some shapes that we can use to make things with now. Yeah, autocorrect is a pain in the butt sometimes. They took your what? They took my teeth out. Ooh. Iowa, Iowa, and then Stacy uses this thing for uh, for when she does her hot glue stuff. So I had to go get one, and so I got me one too, so I can press that hot glue down and it don't hurt my fingers and burn me like always. The Novocaines were off; they didn't get me any pretty well. It did get me any pretty well. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Listen to Mama Wanda. She knows. And for my last little bit, I want to show you all my pretty ribbon that I stocked up on. And I was very happy. But this is not ribbon, but it is. I found some lace ribbon. Look how pretty that is. Very pretty. Just Dollar Tree stuff, dollar at a time. I had a little extra. Then I got some real pretty sparkly red ribbon. And then some um, white glittery lemon or lemon. <clears throat> and a warm wet tea bag on the area. Ah. And then I've got some real pretty silvery ribbon that has little designs on it. That glare is horrible. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see if I can get the uh, tape off of it. So y'all can see the, the image that's on the ribbon. There we go. Y'all see that? Look how pretty that image is on there. Then I got some pretty sparkly blue. Then green. Alright, Melissa, we'll see you in a minute. And uh, then the green. Another green with some printing on it. And then a red one. It's got, it's got uh, stuff on it too. 
Where did I shop? The Dollar Tree. <laughs> now, some of the things I got at Walmart, but I didn't I didn't spend much in Walmart. Let's see if y'all can see that now. It's something similar to the... Well, no, it's not, actually. It's different. Yeah, and so that was my little bitty haul today. I wanted to show you that. I was so excited. I had to carry all this home walking. I had a backpack with me, and so I put everything in it. And boy, my back was hurting by the time I got home. I had to go get me something to eat. Got home, turned around, dropped everything, and went and got me something to eat. And sat down and watched Melissa while I ate and while my phone charged. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, we're going to leave these out because we might use these on the box. Alright. And I got me a new glue gun. Look at that. Alright. Alright, y'all ready to get this boxeroo put together? How it does. When did you start? Says did you put says did you put in group? Um I forgot to, but it is posted in a group that I was gonna be late, but if you want to post it in yours, you're more than welcome to. Oh Alright. I ran out of my drink, so I'll probably have to run into this thing. Okay. So Jada may have beat you two to the punch. All right. Let's see how we gonna do this. My desk is so gross. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this hot spot turned off. That way my computer doesn't kill. Me. Well, no, my phone's doing pretty good. Huh. All right. Let's cut this out. Jada is your backup. She's doing a good job. She ain't letting you down. I drew this out by hand. I didn't trace anything or nothing. These are two inch squares all the way around. Two inch squares. Make it like a T. I can get my ruler. Two inches all the way around. See? Two inches. Each box is two, 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 and two, and all the way. So, so on and so forth. Bye, Miss Linda. Kiki, why don't you put a link up to your uh, your group? That way Miss Crystal can see. She's asking which group that's called. And after I get through cutting this out, I'm going to go grab the, uh, the ornaments that we made yesterday and see if they're dry because I haven't had a chance to look at them. That way some of the uh, new people, the new faces in here can see that what we have been working on and might want to come back on Monday. And may subscribe to the channel if you can, if you want to. Because I make all kinds of stuff just out of stuff that you can you have right here in your house. Sometimes you'll have to you might have to go buy something, but most of the time it's just stuff that you've got laying around your own home. I don't make you spend an arm and a leg for the stuff that you've already got in your house. And they're so, oh, so simple. I'm 
hoping this turns out. Now I also have, for the people that don't know, I also have a Facebook group. It's called Creative Jewels by Emily. And Kiki, if you would, can you uh, find that link? Or Wanda, can you find that link for me? And put the name of the group up there. And y'all can come visit uh, with our group. A lot of a lot of the same members are, the, are in different, uh, different groups. So we try to support each other. And yeah support each other in everything that we do. We are very positive and uh, no negativity is permitted here. So if you're going to be negative, exit stage right. <laughs> so we're going to, uh, since we have got this, I so totally went an airheaded moment and forgot to go get those ornaments that we worked on. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this drawn out. Drawn out. I had an Emily moment. <laughs> I have those quite often, ladies. Especially when I'm tired. At least this, isn't, this thing isn't as intricate as that snowflake yesterday, or the snowflakes. Oh my god, my hands hurt all night. I tell you what. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, if you've got a channel, please go list. If you're not a subscriber, Please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon. That way you can get notified of when we're going to be going live. And you might be able to catch us playing around, goofing off, talking. Now Tuesdays, we have a Talk About It Tuesday. And it's basically like a big old cram session. Um... We talk about what uh, we want to, what we want to see made, and um, hang on a minute. We talk about what we want to be, want to make, and what you all want to see. It's um, it's a place for everybody to get together. If y'all haven't been around in a while, y'all can talk put your ideas down in the chat and then I write them down and I go off of the uh, the ideas that everybody has um, has ever had good gracious I go off the ideas that everybody else has given to me and this one is um, whose idea was this uh, This was Gail, I think. Cardboard cutout, cutouts, painted. Nope, that's not it. Cred. I thought I had it. Uh, hang on a minute. I cannot remember. I've got it written down, ladies. I I try and give credit to the persons who who did it. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think I wrote it down. I think it was Wanda. I'm not sure. I almost set that there. I'm gonna fall out of my chair again. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, for all the new people who do not know, when I say mama, I have an adoptive mom in here. Her name is Wanda Bailey. You will see she is one of my moderators and administrators. Um, whenever I say mama, that's who I'm talking about. So, so those of you who do not know, she is my adopted mommy. 
And she takes care of me very well. Yes, you! Oh, you were already a member of Kiki's Crystal and you didn't even know it? <gasps> Crystal, I have a I have a really weird question for you. Where do you live, sweetheart? Where are you originally from? Or should I say? Because your name sounds very, 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 very familiar. Southern Illinois. Is that where you're originally from? Or is that where you reside at right now? It's only 31 degrees where you are, Jada. Wow, your whole life except for college because I um, dated a guy. His name was Jason Valentine. And his sister's name was Crystal. And that's the reason why I asked. I was like, wow, that name sounds so familiar. All right, we are going to cut this out and we shall see what it turns into. I got this in the mail and I was looking for a thin piece of board. And while I was at the post office mailing happy mail, by the way, I mailed three happy mails today out. Uh, one for Michelle's um, challenge. I went ahead and mailed that out. And then I mailed two happy mails out. So. Our brother is Jason. That's some weird crap, man. Really, really weird. Yeah, but that's not her, though. It's not the right people. Jason, he's been married twice, I believe. Either married or dated somebody and had three kids, two, three kids. I doubt it's the same person I'm thinking of. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. I knew it would I knew it was too good to be true. You all would have yeah, he she you would have figured out exactly who I was after that. Sad thing is, the guy that I dated dated my oldest sister after me. It's kinda sad. That dated for a while after that. Weird, but it's okay. He was the softest spoken guy I ever dated. I can't remember who broke up with who. I don't know if he broke up with me or if I broke up with him. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. Unplug this heater because okay, I'm starting to get hot. And it was chilly as a that frosty's bottom in here earlier. Now it's getting hotter than the freaking sun's ass. <laughs> oh, 
don't mess up. Huh? Actually, you know what's weird? <laughs> um, I was in band. Yes, I can tell you a band camp story. One time at band camp, uh, my my band director flew in a student from Guatemala. But he was wide as you could, wide as the day is long. Stop it. But anyway, um, the band director flew him in from Guatemala because he can, he can speak American or English and Spanish fluently. And so, um... This guy, he came in and he came barreling down the hill because we went to a 4-H camp and they had a football field and they had like barracks and all that goodness where we where we uh, where we slept and all that. Well, we were out on the practice field and he came barreling down the hill. He had long, curly, black hair. Um... Anyway, he, he had the long, curly black hair, and he just, it was, he was just gorgeous, and he was just running down the hill, and he was tall, athletic, he was a bike rider, he was a runner, and he lifted weights, and I'm like, I'm sitting there drooling. Oh my God, I was drooling. You could probably see spit hitting the ground. I was drooling. But there was another girl that was after this guy, and she tried her damnedest to get him, and I was quiet and even talked to him. But I mean, I was flirty, but I wasn't, you know, the blonde flirty. Oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. no, I wasn't that. I was just very friendly. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, see, you're funny. Anyway, this girl, she tried her damnedest to get get him, and he didn't want nothing to do with her. Um, he didn't want a damn thing to do with her. He didn't like her. And, uh, well, the best friend was built by the hospital for having a baby because she was in the hospital the same time as a girl with the same name. Oh, that is crazy. Uh, but anyway, um, by the time band camp had ended, Guess who had landed this pretty boy? Me. And the other girl was so, so angry. Oh, she was so mad. <laughs> and she became very, very cold-shouldered to me. And she was she was real friendly with me until I, uh, so she figured out that me and him were dating at that, uh, dating by the end of band camp. Ha, ha, ha. On the bus ride home, he gave me my first kiss. I haul. I was so, it was so sweet. <laughs> One time at band camp. I actually do have a band camp story. <laughs> All right. Now, what do we want to do is let's bend them at the creases here where they see these lines here. These lines here, you want to bend them at each one of these creases. Everywhere you see a line going across right here, you bend them. You bend them at the crease. So, where I'm going to take my ruler and keep it straight. I don't have a bone folder. So, I'm just going to use my ruler because it'll keep it straight for me. So, you'll have real neat folders. Folded edges. Gotta fold these little teeny tiny little edges here. In the world, we don't have no donkeys around here, and I hear a freaking donkey uh, mule. Oh, 
Oh, that better not be James Lee. It is. Is he off work already? Wow. He is. Hang on, guys. I'll have to go let him in. Oh, cool. That'd be kind of cute. I'll have to get a pattern for it. Hang on. i got to go open the door for him. Tell him to be quiet. about that oh. all right anyway I so missed it all right Yeah, I told you that's what I was going to do today. Oh, I got some LED bulbs at the Dollar Tree. Look, they didn't blow. Yeah. Everybody's saying hi to you. Hi. Everybody's saying hi to you. Hey, how y'all doing today? <laughs> wow. Y'all Yes, a he day. does have a very deep voice, Kiki. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, bird. <laughs> He's a funny duck. He's singing through the house now. Yeah, it is. All right, now what this is going to do, these little tabs that we made. Oh, your sister said you're crazy. Oh, I forgot to bend that one. Did you hear me? Mom. Your sister's on here. She said you're crazy. <laughs> I was born crazy, I look, swear. Look, right here. It wasn't when Mama dropped me on my head. Crystal McGuire. LOL, he's crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Ba-da, ba da Cooper, you can come out in just a second. Crystal McGuire is James Lee's sister. Yes, yep, yep. ma'am. Crystal, she lives in Atlanta. She's not very far from us. And so, yeah. Anyway, but that's, if I can get it right, but that's what it's going to look like. And before we close it up totally, um, I'm going to put a ribbon in there and that way it'll hang from one of the corners, like right here. But for the moment, we are going to... Um, you're in Tennessee. What part of Tennessee are you in, Joyce? I'm originally from there. Um, wait a minute. Do I got? I'm gonna open one of the little bottles. 
I'm not gonna open my big bottle. All right, where did it go? Lord, where's my brain? Right here. Yes, family support. We all kind of support each other. His family keeps kind of a close eye on everybody. Okay, now I'll be in the uh, North Carolina, very northwest corner. We all need to meet it. I have no vehicle, Melissa. I wish I could. Sun is wicked today, shining in my eyes. I had to get me a pair of uh, Emily. Ella, Emily pulled her brain out of the bag. <laughs> funny, funny, Jada. All right. Kind of wait till that gets tacky. Y'all are crazy. I love you and all. <laughs> We, uh, we could do that easy and we take a bus. Well, if I go, Crystal's got to go. Because she'd be meeting my baby, uh, my babies. Blah, blah, blah. My friends, too. The more the merrier. <laughs> it's awesome to meet up with others. Em, you will get there somehow. Yeah. Brandy sitting in North Carolina. Awesome. That means you guys will be uh, real close to each other. Jada and I could drive down. Woo. Now, Joy Mitchell, she lives an hour and some away from me. She's, uh, she's saying something um, about meeting up with me sometime. Well, how would I get there? I've never taken a bus by myself. Well, Crystal, honey, uh, wouldn't that be defeat the point whenever I tell you that we would have to go together or would have to come to? Duh. Woman. I like road trips, too, but from the... What's in it? What's how can I describe it? Uh, the things that we used to do, me and James Lee, the road does not does just not have an appeal for me. <laughs> I was on the road for almost two years. Well, yeah, it was two years before I got off the road with James Lee. So I just don't want to travel much anymore. I just kind of burn out on it. <laughs> Well, y'all come to Atlanta and get me, lol. <laughs> oh, you're going to be in Georgia for Christmas? Oh, it's not going to be very cold. Because last year at Thanksgiving, I was wearing a tank top. Is James Lee a trucker? Nope. We used to work for a carnival, and I used to drive one of their uh, their vehicles. And he used to be my my uh, my passenger, my keep me awaker. <laughs> I was the driver, not him. And so we stayed on the road every week. Well, Jada, she has um, she has a problem. There's a reason why she says that. I'm not gonna say it unless it's well. She can explain why why I say this. It's not my business to tell, so I'll let her explain why I say that that way. She is disabled from her waist down, guys. She cannot walk. She's wheelchair bound. And so she has to have help. That's the reason why I say I'm not going to I'm not going to tell the uh the uh, uh what's wrong with her, her her muscles and all. But I just will say this that she is wheelchair bound and she will need help. 
so yeah now this is going to take a minute to tacky up because it's on both sides and I'm going to have glue all over my hand oh hi Tania you missed uh, you missed the haul you'll have to go back and watch and that's what I got with that And so we uh, we don't get a chance to go get to uh, see Crystal. We haven't got to see her at all since we've been off the road. But we want to. We want her to come see us. But there's no way for us for her to get there. And where we are, I don't know if there's a bus that runs out there. And we would have to go clear to Atlanta to go to the bus stop. And she lives in Atlanta, so it would be kind of redundant. So someone's, so someone's going to have to come get us so we can see her. Yeah. I'm not gonna repeat that crystal for your uh, for your protection on the internet, but let others see that. Crystal's being very active in the conversation. She's telling them about what's wrong with her. Everybody wants to meet up, and we can't get there, and everybody's giving us support. Oh no. You gonna get you another one? Yeah, we will get you there. Aww. See? They're they're very, they're being really supportive. Well she's coming here. Everybody's kinda wanting to do a get together and I don't know where everybody's kinda wanting to meet and <coughs> they're saying Jada can swing through Georgia and come get us. Me, you and Crystal. Because I told them that uh, we all kind of live in the same area. It's just we're we're probably about an hour and a half away from Crystal. Where are we going? I don't know. Where are we going, guys? <laughs> where are we going? James Lee wants to know. Where are we going? Where are we meeting up at? <laughs> all right. Now, I'm going to get a piece of that real pretty ribbon. A little thin ribbon that I got. And I'm going to glue that in. Your farm, oh, in North Carolina, that's right. You're just right on the other side of the mountain from uh, Sevierville. I might went to the carnival there. Yeah, she's going to be moving down there soon. Her and Sanjay, well, Sanjay's going to be in uh, uh, Long Island right now. But he'll be he'll be coming down with her soon. But anyway, we're going to take some of this really, 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 really pretty uh, metallic ribbon and uh, we're going to cut a piece off, opening up a gun shop. Who's got a plan to pick you up? Oh my goodness, Tania, you live in Z New Zealand. That's going to be a hard one. Need to get Miss Daisy to get uh, get you. <laughs> Miss Daisy that was in the chat yesterday. You were serious, Melissa? This is awesome. Wow. Hey. Melissa was being serious about coming to the farm visiting. She's going to be going down to the farm soon. Down in, um... Uh, I want to get the weekends off. Well, well it's, 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 this is just a plan. Everybody's been trying to plan something, but just everybody's plans keep going, going sway back and getting changed, you know. Anyway. What I've done is I've tied me a knot. I've tied a knot in this ribbon here. And we are going to stick it in here. And we are going to glue these sides down. That way this piece sticks up and out. And that way this piece, the box, sits at an angle almost like a diamond. Like that. But we're going to get this glued down, ladies. And this has got more sides than the other one. And this was a promise that I, I kept. 
Some have talked about doing a cruise, a, a crafting cruise with a hundred, with hundreds from our community. Wow. Yeah, there, there have, there have been several groups that have talked about it. Stacy's talked about it, and another group has talked about it. Kiki's talked about it. I've talked about it. Shoot. It would be great. There's a uh, convention center, I believe, here in Atlanta that everybody needs to get together and and go there and get all the crafting communities together. It'd be awesome. That would be awesome. It'd be so much ribbon and uh, uh, ribbon and glitter everywhere. You'd think it was a fairy convention. <laughs> pleasure of meeting two of my crafty friends so awesome oh cool I've got to meet one but she's not being so nice right now because mm, I'm not even gonna explain it's just hard hard to explain I met her before uh, I got really into crafting and I've been to a fairy convention, not a friend, then him. That's true. Kiki, you're very, you're very right. I think it was more of a publicity stunt, really. But yeah. I don't think I made that one long enough, but that's okay. I should have made a, 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 a tab there, but we're going to be gluing that down anyway. And we're going to be covering it up with probably some paint and some pretty stuff. Probably shimmering this little box up. We have made some really cute Christmas ornaments, guys. And I still have yet to get that, those darn uh, Christmas ornaments to show you how they turned out. My goodness. Need something to sit on that. Here, sit there. <laughs> oh no. You're gonna have to be on their retirement list. <laughs> oh no, I think it glued itself to the paper. No, I should have moved it. Crap. Cacalatoro. Yes, cacalatoro. I think it glued itself to the paper. That's okay. I was needing a backing to that anyway. <laughs> you can take it off tonight with next one. Um, I knife. can. Your knife. I can, but I don't think it's all completely dry yet. I'm still pulling stuff off, but the outside is dry. Uh oh. Yeah, it's not drying yet. Yep. Might have to set a day or another day. You need to spray sand on it where it won't stick. Well, good luck with that. Um, I got some parchment paper. Where is it? Where did I put it? I got a whole roll of parchment paper just for that so I could do my hot glue because I lost my other ball, my other thing. He's underneath where my feet are. I can put it under parchment paper, but I forgot where I set it in here and I just got it. There we go. Whew. There we go. It's still a little damp on the, on the back side, but there is the snowflake that we drew, cut, and all that. Aw, they said, aw, James Lee's helping with the crafting. Love it. Did you hear me? And then my favorite, 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 favorite was the mermaid colored one and it dried it it dried so beautifully look at that it's so pretty well thank you kiki i really do appreciate that call carrie calls pj her art bitch james lee is yours <laughs> well sometimes sometimes he finds he's my uh yeah, he is, because he finds me all kinds of pretty stuff to use in my art. So, yes, he is my art, my art person. 
Um, they're talking about you. Um, it's a good thing. They're they're saying that you're helping with well, helping with my art today, and they like that. Um, baby, can you do this for me? Um, go set this over there over on that table where I had it. That way they can finish drawing like that, and I'll put the and I'll paint the backs of them later and put the dates on them. That way we can put them on the street. Oh. When I get offline, I need to show you something I found at Wally World for actually rather cheaply. Seven and a half foot fir tree, not fir tree, but Douglas fir. And it's so pretty. It's, so pretty. it's not full like my other one, but it'll do because it'll fit all of my new ornaments that I've made. And I sent the happy mail out today. It didn't cost as much as I thought it would. Anyway. Are we dry? Are we stuck? Still got a little bit of a wet spot there. But it's good enough to hold by its thread. Look how pretty that is. My cat fill it in. I love spinner trees. More room for ornaments. That's true. He's in here playing with Cooper. I don't know if y'all can see him or not. Let me see if we can see Cooper in there. Give him a, give him a screenshot there. Say hi, Cooper. Hey, Cooper, hi. <laughs> How pretty he is. He's a killer, ain't he? That's Cooper. That's my little Min Pin Chihuahua mix. Aw, Shelly says hi, Cooper. Everybody's saying hi. Look at that. He wants to say hi. Whoop. <laughs> he did. He's like, everybody's like, everybody's saying hi. And he just jumps up here. Look at that. Look up. Look up. Yes, that's good boy. He being a good boy. Cooper. No bites. No bites. No bites. No, no. Doing a rosy. Oh, you giving me hugs? Oh, all right. Go hug daddy. Go hug daddy. <laughs> oh, it's my boy. He is my boy. I tell you what. All right. I have another one of these boards. Do y'all think we could make another one? Make two different types of uh, ornament. Y'all want to do that? Let that finish. Let this finish drying, and we can do another box. Cause I've got one more piece, and then I got. I went to the post office and I got some priority mailboxes. We can use these too. They're not as thick. I'm so freaking lootly. <laughs> I love the way you all talk. <laughs> it's a freaking ugly man. All right, let's get this quickly drawn out, ladies. Get the cap on that so my aliens, my stockpiled aliens, doesn't dry out. All right. All right. I hope you guys are liking this little craft because this is something that I was promising. And I still have my toilet paper rolls up here on my desk. Just debating. Debating on whether I should go ahead and do that. But I don't know. Maybe I should wait till next week. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what I'll do? This is just my first craft. No, I can't. I can't do more than this one today because I got a nice night planned with my honey bunny. He wants to uh, have dinner with me, and so I can't be on long. So I got to make this craft, and this will be the only one for this evening.
putts toes. Huh? I love making the houses. <laughs> this, this is not a house. It's still it's another one of these little cube ornaments. We can build a house like it too. How you did draw a chapel on top. Well, it looks like a cross, don't it? But it's one of those boxes I got this, uh, I drew this template just from a picture online. That's all I need is a picture, and I can draw just about anything you ask. Okay, now, honey. You can try. I can try. My foot, you've seen me do it. These ladies have seen me do it. <laughs> I can draw. A good eraser and a good pen or pencil. That's all I need. Date night, yes, that's what I call it. Fridays and Saturdays are our date nights. It could be me fixing dinner and piling on the couch and watching a funny movie or a uh, chick flick. You never know. You never know with my honey. And we do that quite often, actually. Believe it or not. While we're eating, we watch a movie, and we talk. We talk through the movie, and it... <laughs> well, hi, Aristi. How are you, sweetheart? How many you making? Two. This is going to probably be the only craft tonight. Usually, I do at least two or three crafts, but I got a late start, but that's okay. Melissa was my fill-in until I got back. I'm kind of glad she did that. It kept my kept my group from going nuts and going Emily crazy. <laughs> Might have to have her do that more often if I get, if I'm late. <laughs> Kept them busy. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I think I got that. Now I got to draw my lines. Oh, this is crooked as all get out. My lines are not very sharp and crisp with this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It is. It's the only line I gotta draw. <laughs> do we do have our Emily withdrawals? Yes, you all have y'all, you all did. You all did. I have to. I must say, y'all kept on me. Like, where are you at? We miss you. Where is that? Oh, that's that's Amanda. Amanda's saying, where is that? It's in, say it's in Georgia, honey. This is right, I N G A. Yes, you can speak to her, sweetheart. Sorry. Crystal, your sister is texting uh, your brother, wondering where Loganville's at. You might can explain to her better than we can, but he's he voiced it to her. I said Georgia. If Crystal's on here, let's see. Um, what what did she say? It was a holiday for Melissa, or she wouldn't have been able to take up the time slot she needs to retire sooner. <laughs> okay, the doggy. Well. Uh, this, I don't know what county this is. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to find out. I don't know what county Loganville is. Uh, let's see. Bravo, Jada. The dog, is, the dog is pooping. What? Oh, thanks, Aristi. Dang. Aristi seen it. Thank you, Aristi. Damn it, ladies. Turn Thanks, guys. Y'all are very keen to see that. Yeah, that's the reason why I don't let him in here. I have my laptop up and I can see that. Y'all can see. I'm glad y'all all seen that. I would have wondered where the smell was coming from. I bought another air freshener today. That way I could put it in my room. I keep it in my room. Because I hate really musty smells. I'm going to like that and pick it up. Honey, come on. Honey, it'll be all right. Just pick it up from the sides. Cover it with the bag and pick it up from the sides. Come on, I do it all the time. Is it ready? 
There, there's paper towels right here. And the cleaner is <clears throat> like in the bathroom. I have gother, gother tones of dog poop. I have five dogs. Oh, you have a lot of dog poop. I will. won't have the pain anymore. I have that I've been having. Oh, gosh. I hope not. Did you find it? Cleaner? Go get the cleaner, honey. What are you talking about? Where's it at? The bathroom. On the tub. It's stinky in here. I don't like that. Pick that up. You better not have hocked his leg or anything. I will... I won't be a very happy mommy. Oh, you gather tons of it every day, Christy? I used to when I was a kid. My dad and my mom made us go out and pick up dog poop out of the yard. They didn't like it. Now... We let the weather take it. My dad used to make us. My dad used to make us go out with a shovel, like a garden shovel, like one of those little spades, and um, go and take and get the poopy out of the yard. Yeah. Yeah. Those are my paper towels. Cooper, get out of my there. Go on. Go on. Step on you, little dog. Pooped in mama's floor. Bad dog. The cool thing is when I go outside and clean and wash the yard. And as soon as I go inside, the poop again cause they like it clean. Yeah, that's true. Cats do that too. My cats stand in line and wait for me to clean the the uh, litter box. They do. They'll my cat Rainy. She'll sit beside the. Uh, she'll sit beside the uh, the cat litter box and uh, wait for me to scoop the litter. Finally got one. Dollar. Dollar tree. That's a big one too. All right, she will sit there and wait for me to get that litter box clean so she can make a mess in it. I'll put that right there, put it in my template book. There we go. What? Oh, that sucks, Kiki. If your dad stepped in it, you had to clean his shoes. Oh, you have a headache? Well, Kiki, honey, if you've got a headache and don't feel like being in here, you don't you don't have to be. Mama Wanda's in here and uh Gail just came in. Aristi's in here. Melissa's in here. We got we we're good, girl. We got this. Go rest. No place I'd rather be, honey. Aww. Well, thank you. I just don't want you hurting. Let's take care of your tippers. While you're laying in bed. Might have to make one of these with Mr. Man over here. He's sitting over here watching. I said I might have to make one of these with you because you're standing over here watching. This is actually really easy. They're really easy to make. Yep, I can see what you're doing. One down. Wanda, it's winter here and I have to keep the door open because my cats prefer to go outside than in the litter, their litter box. Oh gosh. I bet you're froze.
Yeah, I know. Christmas is getting here quick. I'm not even ready for Thanksgiving right now. Still got to get a turkey and got to get a ham for Christmas. I don't know. Come on. Said, Mom, it's weird. I'm in Mommy's craft room. What? Still didn't make it to the post office. So I barely made it to mine. They, uh, my GPS said it was going to be closed today, and I walk in and it's full swing. I got a ham and turkey this week. Oh, I'm jealous. My one says she got a ham and a turkey this this week. Yeah. Well, all right. Now to put this bad boy together. What do you consider? What do you consider cold? Uh oh. Gail's asking a good question. Um, I don't like cold at all. I hate the cold. When even it when the temperature drops below sixty degrees or sixty two degrees, I'm shivering and I'm wearing sweat clothes. <laughs> I walked out the door today with a with a two sweaters on and a pair of sweatpants. I came home with a long sleeve shirt and a pair of sweatpants. I got hot walking. But I did get the happy mail sent out, which is a plus. And, uh, one of them was a challenge winning that I was supposed to send back in July that I didn't get, I didn't haven't had the money to send it. And now I did or did. I'd love it to be fifty. <laughs> huh? Oh, where's my mouse at? Is that the one I just got? No, this is not optical. Wow, it's been in the low 30s Fahrenheit. <coughs> Gail, holy crap, that's cold. That's no, not cold. What, 31, 30 degrees Fahrenheit? Yes, it is. What is it? 30 degrees? Stop. You're going to interrupt my broadcast. Stop. This is what happens. I'm upside down. Great. Hang on, guys. He didn't realize he was calling me, and so now my phone's upside down. It's upside down. Yes, it is. See the chat? It's upside down. And look. Hang on. What? Are you touching buttons? Really? I didn't mean to do that. Really? Oh my god. Sorry guys, give me a second. I gotta get it set back up. See, this is what happens when you call every time. I have to do this. That's why I fuss when you call. Alright, sorry about that guys. We'll ban you from the room. <laughs> Mama Wanda said we'll ban you from the room. What? Oh, Melissa said, go to the corner, James Lee. <laughs> and she says she's getting her wooden spoon out. <laughs> Put your phone on mute. Well, I did, and it vibrates. It vibrates instead of calls. It still shows up that they're calling. I can make it stop vibrating, yes, but it won't mute it. It will still make the, the call sound. You can't, I, yeah, this phone's a little weird. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I doing? Is that the right one? No, it's not. Well, I can use that to get make it a little tacky. That was almost a blooper. Almost a big blooper. 
Oopsie. Do you not have to just, uh, do you have a do not disturb on your phone? Yes, I do. I never thought about that. Would that work for phone calls? Yep. I'm going to put you on a do not disturb. You know what? I never thought about that. Uh, put it in a uh, flight. Oh, the airplane mode, I won't be able to uh, get the internet if I'm uh, in airplane mode. I can still receive calls, but they won't, I won't get them, you know what I mean? Uh-oh, Mama said, James Lee, I'm eating a Mounds candy bar. That's the coconut, Michelle. Uh, Michelle, that's the mound stuff that Michelle sent. That's how I can tell. Mama Lana says she's eating a mound's candy bar. <laughs> huh? Yes, I, I, you can make a, a, a coconut cake and use mound's uh, candy on top. That's about, that's about the, the extent of that. Oh. Got the lime on it. Put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> huh? Who's fairy? Fairy tales, cards, and crafts. Honey, have I? Are you a part? I've not seen you in a while. If you are a part of this group, what is your name? I do apologize. My memory is not very good, and I'm gonna have glue all over my hands with this one. Tattoo, that's right, duh. Duh. I had a blonde moment. I knew who you were, I just couldn't remember. So I asked it very discreetly for everybody to remember who you were <laughs> for, for all inquiring months. Yes, Melissa has a darn good memory. She does. I have to. I must say, she does. I can't believe that I forgot. But you know, what now? Six to eight hours of light. I have been tired because of darkness here in Finland. About six to eight hours of light. You never remember names, Aristi. I'm kind of bad with names, but um, I'm not good with them either. Tacky fied. And I gotta get the uh, the ribbon. I about forgot about that. And tie our knot. Ugh. Don't know if I made this loop bigger or smaller than the other one. I don't know. Do what now? You need to add vitamin D to your diet during the dark times of the year. That's true. Very true. Oh, my ear's itching. All right. Now to just put the pressure on the box to make all these flaps hold down. Greetings to Santa and then tell him he is a bad boy. He never visited me. <laughs> you just bought a bright light? You know, are, are we speaking about the same bright light? Like the one with the little pegs you poke through? The little black screen there? And, yeah. Uh, how to... Uh, 
Does anyone know how to uh, how hot the oven needs to be to melt the pony beans? Um, if Janie was in here, she'd be able to tell you. And Melissa might be able to tell you. Yeah, Secret knows too, yeah. Or you can ask um, May May. Made it, I believe. She, I think she's done that too. You're using a toaster oven as well. Oh, we'll tell your son that we all said hello. Alright, I'm going to set this to the side because it looks like it's it's holding the fort down for the moment. It's holding it down. So we're going to go over here and we're going to pick up this one. And I am going to put the glue on the top of this. And we are going to find some paint. Something just fell behind my desk. <laughs> I probably got some pieces big enough to make an ATC and stuff out of this, so I'm not going to throw it out. I'm just going to sit ear to the side. Just the oven closed. What? What have I missed? There's Lux. More Lux than every... I don't know. I'm so glad to see all the you guys in here. I hope we're all having fun. Talking and a Gavin and just a conversating and being being funny. Yes, Melissa. Oh, well, yes, Melissa. It just like on a one seventy. Going, Melissa. Huh? What did I miss? Oh, <laughs> how funny are you all? All right, that's not got my paint in it. This has got my paint in it. Mhm. Mm I don't have to go over there and look for my white. Let's do with that. And spice berry. No. We might mix. Um we've got one, two, three. How many sides is that? I done forget. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides, I think. I don't know. My God. We shall mix. And my paint palette is in my A, so we shall use a paper plate for my paint palette. How about that, ladies? We can do that. Yep. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to basically give this a brush of white paint. Having pudding, your son ate all your chocolate. Oh. Let's see, what does that say? Finland? Finland is an amazing country and it's one of the best countries to live. Really? That's fine. That's fine with me. Yeah, hide your uh, hide your chocolate in a laundry box, but you got to put something around that chocolate. That way, your chocolate don't end up tasting like the laundry soap. I remember that.
Have you ever brought something home from the grocery store and figure and found out that the cashier packed your food with chemicals and your your food ended up tasting like them chemicals? Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. You had to it had to be refrigerated. Oh, the box will be empty. I need to go get my gold and my silver paint. Yep, because we got to let this dry. This box will be seen from all angles if you hang it right. So every, all the sides will be seen. I'll have to get my heat gun to dry this. And one more side. Y'all would not believe what I seen today on the way to uh, the store. I walked by this um, this tree. And I noticed some uh, gravestones. It was next to this, uh, next, right next to Walmart and Lowe's and like PetSmart and stuff like that. You know, me being curious, I love old graveyards. And so I walk up there and I am amazed to see that this, these gravestones dated back all the way to the 1800s. And I was like, amazed at this that these gravestones had actually stood the test of time some of them were just little little stones and with no real names or anything on them some of them had names um that had died and these some of them were children and um they were only like three years old and i just felt so sorry i just said a silent prayer for these these people because it was a private graveyard, but I I respected it and not walked across the the graves. But these these children that died at such a young age, I just kind of curious what happened to these kids. Because there was one that was sitting side by side to each other. Emily and I have my Christmas show on what? Oh, you got, am I your Christmas show? That's going to be pretty. It's crackling a little bit for some reason. I guess that's where the glue was sitting. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's nice. Crackle effect. Weird, but cool at the same time. It'll get covered up, but that's pretty cool. It's starting to crackle from where we uh, where we did the seam on it. It'll get covered up, but I just want you guys to see that. Look how pretty that is. It's crackling. Almost looks like a, uh, like a distressed one. Yes, paint all over blue. Y'all want this one to be a crackle one? Yes, paint over glue crackles. What? When it starts. What? Yeah, Melissa, I'm not getting any beads. I'm getting writing sets for my pen pals. We can't get pretty ones here. Oh. Oh, you were in a craft store today? Is that too? Express is having a big sale. Yeah, Allie's having a big sale on the 11th. I've got a few things in my my cart, but not many. I found something on there that was cheap. You're still adding to your cart? Yeah, I think that thing that I was getting is like 96 cents. <laughs> Not much. Oh, you're babysitting and watching me? Aw. You took the beads out of your cart? Aw. I can't afford the beads. I looked at the beads at Walmart today, and oh my God, for a strand of beads, they wanted almost eight bucks. And I'm like, you can keep them. Thank you. Bye-bye. See ya. Let's do some gold. I picked up some gold and I accidentally put it back. I realized after I pulled all those paints out that I'd forgotten it. So I was helping this lady. Oh, that reminds me. There was a lady in Walmart today that was in there with her grandchild. And um, she was doing a canvas. She was talking to her granddaughter about a canvas. And she, her granddaughter didn't know, her, didn't know shit from Shinola. And so I kind of piped in. I was like, what are you making? And she explained what it was. And I, uh, she said she's making like a, a big canvas with a piece of wood that says blessed. And the wood is like that thick, guys. That thick. Between the two fingers, is the piece of wood's that thick. And uh, she was wondering uh, what color. She had a piece of fabric in her hand. And... I shoot her over to the Apple Barrel Paints because Apple Barrel Paints, they're really vibrant, but they're cheap, and uh, they dry kind of quick. I like folk art, but folk art's very thick, and it dries a little bit slower, but uh, she couldn't find the right color of uh, paint to match, and so uh, I looked at the color on her fabric, and I said, hmm, hang on, try this one, and I opened it up, and she, they're looking at it, and I was like, hmm, wait a minute. Here, an artist doesn't care if you get her if she gets her hands dirty. So I opened it up, smeared the paint on my wrist or my hand right here. I said, "That's what your color is going to look like." And they're like, "Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you." And then she started answer uh, asking me questions about canvas and uh, uh, what to do. I was like, "You got to prep your canvas." I was like, "What kind of canvas are you using? Are you using like the fabric canvas, like over there, you know, like the white canvas, the stretch canvas?" And she says, "Yes, that's exactly what we're doing." I was like, "Uh." I said, you're going to have to prep that. You're going to have to have some white gesso. And they had some white acrylic matte paint over there. And I said, you can use that. That'd be perfect. Oh, cool. Walmart has the beaded jewelry on sale for one and a half dollars. Not at mine. Not at our Walmart. I was all over that Walmart. It was all over the material section, the sewing section, the bead section, the craft section. And they have no stock paper 
None. Like cra uh, craft paper, they don't have any whatsoever. And I was disappointed because I was going to get a couple of uh, uh, packets of that paper because I wanted some with words on it. And they didn't have any. And I was so disappointed. Very, very disappointed. I was I scoured all over. I didn't have a lot of stuff to choose from, really. Hell, the dollar store had more stuff than Walmart did in the crafting area. To be honest with you, I mean, it's like crafting is a dying breed. I don't know. Can't wait till that Hobby Lobby gets built. Ugh. I'll be over there every week. <laughs> It'd be my favorite place. Well, Hobby Lobby's always been my favorite place. That and Joann's and Michael's. All crafty places. I seen something at Walmart that you like. Uh, Christmas ornament. It was just the face and the, the eyes and the little little feathers on the top. But it was a barn snow or snow snow owl. A barn snow owl, I think is what it's called. And I wanted to get it so bad it was like five bucks. I was like, oh, I ain't got the money for that one. All right, I need to put that lid back on. Did I miss that thing? I had to go give the dog his meds. I thought I heard him leave say my name. Uh, if I did, it was a while back, Gail. Your Walmart has paper wedding stuff? Cool. There's not, like I said, this Walmart that we have here just sucks because there's not a lot of crafting stuff. I was all over that crafting area. The greater will be a lot become welcome to Hobby Lobby. Oh hi again, Emily. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Hobby Lobby that's gonna be built. They're they're making fun of me because they know it. Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite stores. Mm. And the boss made fun of too. He's like, Yeah, she's gonna love that. <laughs> yeah, everybody's getting to know me around here. <clears throat> Let's see. That's going to be pretty. Gold and green. I wish I had some metallic red, but I don't have any. Only only metallic in the red-ish is um, that copper. And I don't, I don't want to use copper for Christmas. I have an idea, though. I have some pearl, and I've got, I got some red. I can't help that, dear. You're gonna have to let me finish this and I'll go get it. What it was I saying? Ah, oh, shucks, more buffering. I've had a lot of trouble with buffering today. Hey, you put these on it? No, I'm just, I'm gonna put these right here. That's the reason why I did it two inches because some of these are just about big enough to put on here. And they're stickers and I'll probably have to glue them down because there's Rudolph bows and Frosty and Christmas trees and snowflakes. So just enough to cover this and then and then some. Oh, I was talking about mixing a paint with the pearl. Let's see. Maybe I can mix the color to make it look pretty red. What is that one you got? Mm-hmm. 50 cents a piece. Only more the only expensive one was this one right here, spiced berry. And that's the one I'm about to mix with some uh, with some uh with some opal pearl white opal metallic paint. And maybe I can make a metallic red. Maybe. It's a trial and error here. Because I'll probably use most of these colors on the other one too. 
trial. Cross your fingers, guys. See if it works. Come on. Get out there. I thought I bought a broader red than that. So it was really what it looks like. Uh, you're curious too, huh? A curious cat. My curious kitty. It's a purple. No, it turned to a, a plum color, but that actually would work. It's actually very pretty. Mm. Nope, I cannot make that box. I tried. I can't, but yours is bestiful. You mean beautiful, Miguel? Yes, you can. You can do it. I bet you good. I bet you you didn't make your tabs big enough. See, I can do that because I got little hands and I can. I have the. I have the, the patience. That's actually a really pretty color. It's not red, but it'll do. I'm not gonna waste my paint. Mm. Turned like into pink. a slight pink, yeah, because I got that white paint on it underneath it. But you know, one side could be for the the boys, and one side could be for the girls. And plus, I can paint some. Uh, I've got some red glitter I can kind of cover it up with. I don't know. I had to get me some red glitter. That was bitching yesterday because I didn't have any red glitter. I got everything under the sun, but not red glitter. And the only red glitter I had was that little bitty stuff. And this right here I can mix with glue and paint it on. What red and white make paint? Yes, I know. Red and white, I know. <clears throat> but it was a dark, it was a darker red. It was really dark, and I thought it would lighten up to a like a real pretty color. But oh well. That could be for the for the girls in the group. See? You can hardly tell. It'll be on the bottom. Hey. Wanda, go to the uh oh Uh oh. <laughs> Wanda got put in the corner. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Joyce put her in the corner. <laughs> you better take your helmet and crayons, Wanda. And your coloring book. Uh oh, Charlie says, oh, my mama got punished. Uh, Wanda, or Melissa said, Wanda can't go to the corner. James Lee is still there. <laughs> we ain't pull. The uh oh. Y'all ain't got James Lee out of the corner yet. He's standing there stamping his foot. What are you doing? He said, I've been in here long enough. <laughs> See, my, we have fun in here. We have fun. We make fun. We, we tell jokes. All right, I'm going to set this over here and let this dry for a bit. And if it's still not dry, we'll get the heat gun to dry it. And I'm going to just paint these up the same way I did these. And you know what? I'm going to put a pearl, a little bit of the opal pearl in this white paint. And make it iridescent, like an iridescent white. So when I put another color to it, it'll be pearly. Because it's white. It's a white opal. I don't want to waste because I'll put this on a uh, a painty paper. Why you got in it? Oh, you had to paint the whole thing white? Yeah. I painted that one white. That was a base white. That's why the colors are popping so pretty. That's why they're so bright. Because it's got a base of a white. I put white. I didn't put gesso on it because gesso makes it feel like gritty okay. and I didn't want it. I didn't want it gritty for, uh, feeling. I'll use this on a different project. I'll put it in one of my empty bottles I've got in my, my thing. I'll probably will have you go get it. Emily, do you use mica powders? I've never used mica powders. Never used them. Don't even have any, I don't think. I have glitter. I don't have mica powder. Love to have some. You have to teach me to use them. Give me special instructions. Mama Wanda can, or the, or the people that know anything about them. What? What's matter? Honey, I'm busy. I'm busy. What did he do? I can't understand you. Hang on, guys.
You fed it, Bill. They asked me. You've been buttering it. I don't think so. He's picking that up. He fed the green beans to the dog. Uh uh. <laughs> like the eyeshadow at the Dollar Tree mixed with paint to make metallic. Ooh. I've got some of that, but they're putting it up underneath my other table. Hmm. I will have to do that one time. I'll have to make another one of these off camera and see what that does. Wow, I think this paintbrush is loaded with paint. Hmm. I've got the, I believe I've got the silver, I've got the gold, and I've got the purple. Oh no, I've went quiet. Get clean color, what? Get cheap color eyeshadow and mix them. Hmm. I have some cheap ones that I get at the Dollar Tree. But I use the colors in it, that's the thing. I use the, the cheap Dollar Tree eyeshadows for my Halloween makeup, believe it or not, haha. -ha. That's what the vibrant colors did. I know you guys seen my Halloween pictures of the Sugar Skull. I used the cheap Dollar Store Tree, uh, Dollar Brand, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree brand eyeshadow to do that. So, if y'all think it don't work and show up, you're crazy. It works and it shows up very well. So you are one step ahead mixing in your paint. Hey, I got, I just got home. How's everyone? Well, hi, Brandy. Just realized that was you. We are on late. Uh, uh, I was running late today, so I guess Melissa fill in, filled in for me while I was, uh, while I was indisposed, taking care of a few things. And uh, uh, she's in here. We are making the ones that I promised Mama Wanda that I would wait on. We are making our little box Christmas tree ornaments. You missed the beginning of it. You'll have to catch the beginning. Yeah, I was there for most of Melissa's. Most of them most of it but not all of it I waited till she was done to go live I had it every I had it in queue and everything wait waiting and then everybody from her chat kind of come swung over here and continued on chatting uh oh yeah mama Wanda's in the corner with James Lee y'all gotta let both of them uh both of them out now Yeah, Mama Wanda and James Lee got put in a corner. <laughs> I forget what they've done now. I didn't do it, though. She got her bowl of chicken, so she's fine now. Brandy. All right. I'm going to have to run the heat gun on this, and I've got a corner that's wanting to be funky. All right.
Uh oh, Joyce getting mom out of the corner now. You can come out now and be a good one. <laughs> you gotta be good. You know what she's doing. She's giving you the mother stare and giving the pointy finger. You know you gotta be good now. You're sharpening that spoon in case it gets out of hand again. <laughs> How funny. All I said was red and white. Make pink must have been the duh that got me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, probably, Mama. I Charlie says, Wanda, you know that put you in there. Alright, let me see if this is dry. Let's dry that up. Yeah, looks like you're gonna have to leave that word off. I get you in trouble. <laughs> Oh, good thing that dropped in the pink on the right side, huh? I'd had a pink spot. Uh, you might need to borrow that sharp spoon for Noah every once in a while, Brandy. changed my alley cart again and I took the glue gun and sticks out the cart so I can put the beads in. Tania, you need your glue gun. You put that glue gun back in there. You can always buy the beads. You can't buy a glue gun that cheap now. Come on. Must have been a thick spot for that. You're okay with that, Melissa? You want both? Might add some bling on it for you. So who's gonna co who's gonna make any who's gonna make some of these boxes for their Christmas tree? Cause these look fun. Melissa can make some. They don't have to be Christmas ornaments uh, per se. You can make some for Easter. You can make some for Thanksgiving. Oh, you can't afford both? Oh. Well, do what you want, Tania. It's your it's your money, honey. We're not telling you what to buy. We are definitely not telling you what to buy. All right, Charlie. We'll see you later. You made what? You made houses, boxes would be cute, made to look like gifts. Yeah, they sure would. I can always make more. I got some more of those little, uh, not any more of the same cardboard that I got from here, but uh, I've got some post, uh, post envelopes that I can use. All right, now, now this one is you guys. What colors do you all want? I got white, gold, green, silver, 
uh, yeah. Just about any Christmas color you want. I can even use glitter. What do y'all, what do y'all say? You have blue out? No, I didn't have blue. Blue's not really a Christmas color. It's snowflake. No, snowflakes are white, babe. Uh, ice is white. And just remember, we have, we have these stickers, too. Silver and blue. Sickles. <laughs> Jada said silver and blue. Ow. My hair's yeah. getting warm. It's green, blue, green, blue, gold, blue, snow. My bad. Uh, puppy. Oh, Brandy's not seen, Cooper. Come here, Cooper. Come here. Come on. Come on. Up here. Come on, baby. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. You almost got it. You almost got it. There we go. You stink. Strong one. Yeah, them green beans hit his hit his digestive system. Hmm. Hey, Sam. Hang on, I'm moving the, the camera up. That way he can see, be seen. Here we go. Say hey, Cooper. Hey. Say hi. The Simba. Right, and Simba, the animals. Once they see that door, that, once they see Simba, the door open. Look, there's rain too. Looks at look, look at Kitty. There? Yeah, What's Kitty's in here? here. Yep, those are my What's babies. Happening? They're they're curious cats. <laughs> Gail says hi. You want to say hi to Gail? Hey, look over here. Look over here. Look over here. Hey, look over here. Look. Say hi, Gail. He says I'm all about my mom and daddy. He's all about his daddy. Yeah, he loves his daddy. All right, let's see if I walk out of the room and see what he does. We're gonna walk out. He's gonna walk out of the room and see what happens. Yes, he is very focused. When he when you when he's focused on when he's focused on something, he's 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 right there. He's right there on it. Look, there's your daddy. There's your daddy. Alright. He smells like green beans. Come on, Kitty. I can't handle it. Oh, there he goes. He took a dang nose dive, didn't he? Wow. <laughs> hey, you don't like the mask. Put it where he's not supposed to be and it'll keep him out of it. Yes, I love how they give us unconditional love. That's it's awesome. I'm going to move you guys back down to the table. There we go. All right. Um, well, we've already got white on here, but... Uh, Let's see what this this cheap ass silver does. I think I might need to get some more paint brushes over here because I think I've used all the ones over here. Okay, I need to put those in my paint water. Put that in my paint water. What are the dimensions of the box? Each each one is two inches. Two inches across. Two by two by two by two by two. Two inches. What if I get it in the right spot? Two inches. Each square is two inches. Here's the template that I made for it. Each box is two inches across and down. Looks like a cross, and at the very top, Jada, there's little tabs that we marked. This is an extra, an extra section, so be leery whenever you measure out your template that you measure in these little tabs, okay? 
Because once you fold these down, that's going to, this whole box is two inches. This is not, I, maybe three millimeters, maybe. Let me see. Yeah. It's about a millimeter or so. So, whenever you measure it out, make sure you give room for these little tabs here. Okay. It's quite easy. I did all this from just a picture. No, no, um, no instructions, no nothing. See what this silver looks like on top of this white because if it's not I'm so covering it up and I'm gonna put it on my bottom side that way if it looks bad I need something that's a little bit more solid it almost looks crappy I don't like the silver now this is okay on a dark color, but this silver looks crappy on white. Very, very crappy. Probably have to take coats. Let me see if I can find my folk art. My folk art uh, paint. Silver. Let me see. Ooh, what am I sitting on? There, my towel. This is good for like when you want something real quick or I can touch it, but this is not acceptable. so much thicker you can tell I should have got my blue walls up shouldn't I yep it finally stopped snowing Arlena just noticed your comment. I'm going to take the heat gun to this and then we'll put another coat on that to hide that ugly silver that was on that. Michelle's at. I've not seen her today. Is she okay? Has anybody seen her in another chat? Little Craft Creations, Michelle? Have anybody seen her? How's she doing? If you've seen her. Oh, she was in your live stream? Must have been part I missed. I think I said hi to her, but I really didn't get into into details with her. It's weird. She's on my mind. I sent her uh, her kids' Christmas uh, challenge cards out today, or uh, Christmas ornaments out today. I didn't put any ribbon or anything on it. She'll have to use her own, but I went ahead and sent those out today. Didn't cost me much. I'm not exactly sure what she was doing. I can't remember.
Oh, cool. You're making an angel out of shredded uh, fabric? Kiki, you must um, you must share your picture of this angel because I want to see this. I'm intrigued now. You said it was inspired by Dawn Bisonel. Is that how you say it? Or Bisonel? Or Boisonel? I'm not sure exactly how you say her name. I don't know. I love that cool. What in the world? Oh Lord. Yes, there is to stream for two hours. Is that something? You're making a dress like a tassel with a wrap for top, then using a pick of the mother Mary for for the face. I have to piece have a piece to make base for wings. Cool. I found some real pretty angel and a real pretty angel wing ornament at Walmart. It was so pretty. I wanted it and I just didn't I didn't have the money for it, but I wanted it so bad. So, so bad. And I found a Christmas tree at Walmart that I really, really wanted. I wanted I really, really want it. It's like 90 bucks. I don't know how much it is, tax and all, but it's like 90 bucks. I've got a little bitty one, but not like huge, super huge. That's going to fill all the ornaments that I'm making for this year because <sighs> these are so fun to make. My mom used to make a lot of our ornaments for our trees. I got to get a big old box for all these ornaments that I've made because I've made so many and I'm happy because I'm able to do it. What is impromptu? Impromptu means something that uh, you just do on a whim. That the spur of the moment. moment. That's what uh, impromptu means. Yeah, homemade ornaments are, are, are more heartfelt than bought. But sometimes the bought ones, you can add to it and make it so much better. I need to make some ornaments to make uh, up for the ones that I lost before, like my child, my, my my baby's first Christmas and the year they were born and my animals that I lost because I have a few animals that passed away and I lost and I don't have their ornaments anymore. One was hit by a vehicle on the day of my daughter's er, second birthday party. And uh, I made an ornament for, for her. It was pretty. It was a snowflake, a glittered snowflake. Alright, I'm going to go get my blue. Marlena said she wanted silver and blue. Because we are going all out with the with the silvers and golds. I tried to find I tried to find the little mini bells today and I could not find them for the life of me. Walmart does not carry them. 
I wanted to put some mini bells on the corners here along with the, the ribbon but I could not find the little miniature bells to do it which is irritating why do you want to cry now Brandy I just seen your message I just looked at and seen it what's the matter Aww. Alright, where? Oh, shit. Where's my toe? Well, if I could keep it up on the dang thing here, I'd be doing good. Hello, Carrie. How are you, sweetie? I am a little late today. Um, I had some errands that I had to run, so I'm I'm streaming a little late. But after I get done here, I'm gonna go spend some time with Mr. James Lee. Now, these may not look like the best things in the world, but it's just something to put on our trees and um, to teach you guys how to make this. And I'm hoping that I taught you how to do this. The instructions were clear. But it's very, very simple to make a box. The hardest part was gluing the tabs in and putting the, the string or the ribbon in. That's about it. And then the, the part for decorating it and how what colors to do. <laughs> That's the hardest part about it. It's very easy. It's almost, it's like intermediate to easy on the scale. Yes, I was having retail therapy. <laughs> Are you putting blue in it? Yeah, uh, Arlena said blue and silver, so I'm putting the blue on there for her. Because nobody else said anything, I don't think, unless I missed it. She said blue and silver, so we are going with the blue and silver. I'm going to put some snowflakes stickers on it once the paint dries. I'll use the heat gun to dry most of it. When I get done. Saying. I finally found the glue gun and I put it back in the cart with the glue sticks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, Tanya, we don't, we're not telling you what to do. It's up to you. It's your money, honey. It's whatever you want to do. Do not let us dissuade you or persuade you to do anything you don't want to do, okay? You are you. Cooper, out. Cooper, out. Out. One more time and I'll bust it. Go. Okay. You gonna get it. thing in the world. <sighs> I 
and he uh, it's not his fault because Dum Dum left the door open. But that's what happens when he starts getting into stuff. That's whenever uh, back's turned. That's when he starts chewing. That's what happened to my light cord one day. Y'all remember that? Y'all heard the Cooper yelp because he ate through the cord <laughs> and it was plugged up. That was funny, but not. Yeah, that was just going to be a good tender biscuit Thanksgiving Christmas. What? What did I miss? Yeah, and it was funny. Brandy, did you catch that show? Were you there when she when he zapped himself? Oh. <laughs> Y'all were like, oh my gosh, is he okay? I'm like, yeah, he's fine. So I had to sit there and do surgery on the dang cord while you all were sitting there, I think. So I'd have light in the room. I can't remember. Well, I don't know. It's been, I've slept too many times since then. Yeah, I had quite a few viewers say that. Oh, your dad passed on New Year's Eve in 2014? Wow. Uh, I'm so sorry, Kiki. I can, I can so relate. I can't relate to my parents passing, but I can, re I can relate to my grandmother passing in 2009. Yes, I can relate to that. It's, it's hard. But you know, you got to think about this. No one is ever gone. No one is ever gone. They're still here with us. They're just waiting on us. That's what they're doing. They're waiting on us. They're not gone. They're still holding your hand. They're still with you. They're still whispering in your ear. Where do you think dreams are coming from? I think they plant them dreams in there to, to tell you something, you know? Subconsciously. I woke up crying this morning. I don't know why. I was upset about something. I woke up crying, drenched in tears. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, Brandy. I sound just like my mama and my grandmother. That's kind of sad. I made a post about it uh, to my mom the other uh, yesterday because my mom's been thinking about my grandmother a lot and um, she's missing her. And I was like, Mom, you did a wonderful job raising us and... Um, She's my mom's missing my mom, my grandmother's blue eyes. I was like, Mom, guess who got Granny's blue eyes? I said I did, and I said sometimes you can even look at me. I sound like her and I act just like her. So she's not gone. She's here. She's still here with us. She is still here with us. <laughs> I'm a living resemblance of her. So if you ever want to see Granny, just come see me. You'll you'll look right into the eyes of her. I got the same eye color and everything. Same quirky mouth movements, the same sound. Do you know my grandmother was very, very tender-footed. She didn't like people messing with her feet, and I don't either. I will kick you like a, a rabid mule if you start messing with my feet. And I, still, and I have the same smile, the same ways of thinking, very creative. So I take a lot of my grandmother. I take a lot from my grandmother right now. so it's they're still with us no matter where you are it's a feeling Aristi it's a feeling that you have in your heart it's it's you just got to believe you got to believe in your heart that they are still here with you it's it's something to to think about and to 
to really wonder about because there are um it's it's just a feeling that you have Aristi. I, I don't know how other other than to explain it have you ever have dreams that you don't understand like someone that has passed away and they just all of a sudden appear in your dreams that's them trying to talk to you trying to send you a message you know that's the way I look at it yeah listen to the listen to Brandy she's she'll tell you listen to Kiki listen to Brandy they're they're right all right Gail um you have fun with the hubsters Uh oh, I set that one in white. Oopsie. All right, I gotta go back over that with a. All right, we got blue and silver. We're gonna probably put some snowflakes on this one. Uh, Emily, I mean what? Christy, I don't know how to answer that. I really don't. Uh, so I'm going to have to pass on that question. So if anybody has a good answer to her question, please feel free to enlighten. I don't know how to answer that. It's a very, very loaded question. Very, very hard question to answer. Those, those are also colors for Hanukkah. Really? I didn't know. Well, that's cool. I gotta go over again with silver, but I'm gonna run this with the. Uh, I'm gonna run this with the air or the heat gun. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you, Joyce. There's there's no way for me to really say what I'm thinking right now because I've got so many things going on. But thank you for um, for explaining. Thank you for explaining. Uh, Risty asked a very hard a very hard question for me to answer, so I asked the ladies in the group to help me answer it. I'll tell you after the stream. Ain't that pretty? It turned out pretty. I gotta make it. I gotta do another uh, cold of silver here because that's this is before I changed over the uh, the silvers. I went and got the good silver, not the sterling silver, not that crappy cheap dollar store silver. Oof, that's hot. Wow, Kiki, that's 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 something. Did she ever come back, Kiki? Is that a curiosity?
Maybe I might be able to get that on there. Cooper. Honey, quit leaving this door open. Come get him, please. He's getting into stuff in here. He's getting into stuff in here like he always does. Cooper. Oh. Yeah, where's runs under the table when he gets in trouble? Go, Cooper. I've run him out of here twice, and you just keep leaving that door open. Hi, Kiki, I got you. I'll let you ladies talk it out because this I'm not putting my foot into this conversation. Repeat what you all are saying. I don't know if that blue is going to cover it because I got it over onto the silver side. I don't know. So I think we're going to put snowflakes on this blue and silver one. We're going to put some of the other uh, little doodads on the other one and put some ribbon around it maybe I don't know we'll see see how it works out maybe put some red glitter somewhere or maybe on that pink that we uh, that red that we turned pink yeah let's try that again
I think it's turning out pretty good. Okay, I'm going to set that down. Might have to put another coat of green on this one since it's dried. So, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put that coat of green on real quick. Make it to stay here darker. Yeah, what is everybody working on for their craft? Nice, uh, nice, Carrie. Anybody working alongside me? Anybody working on something? Is that a good? Oh. That turned out a lot better now that I put that coat on there after it was dried. It's not as streakish. Is anybody trying this box out with me? Y'all had plenty of time to, to fiddle with it now. Anybody making it along with me? Oh, you're working on making your AliExpress uh, wish list for the sale tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna be doing the. I'm gonna be on AliExpress tonight. I'm gonna be looking up their up some other stuff because I got a little bit of money left and I'm going to go and get some a few things some things that I want and need it's going to take me a little bit of time to get but you know it's just like wish you got to wait Alrighty, Joyce, thank you for coming. You have a good dinner. Hope it turns out alrighty. He's watching Super Troopers. I can tell by the way, I can tell by the sound of the voice. <laughs> yep, he's watching Super Troopers. <laughs> so, I have a question. What's everybody's favorite Christmas movie? Is it Charlie Brown Christmas? Is it um, Frosty? Is it Rudolph? Which one is it? Which one is your favorite that you used to watch as a kid that you still watch? Oh, you're going to shoot your eye out, kid. Uh, that is... I actually had that movie, I think. Uh, oh, crap. Something Christmas. Uh, it's a Charlie Brown Christmas. I have that one. I don't have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. A Christmas Story, that's what it's called. Yes, I have that movie somewhere. But I think we've gotten a lot of our movies stolen. As I as I was putting things up, I did, I I've noticed that we didn't have a few things. Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. That is a classic. I like It's a Wonderful Life. 
You got the leg lamp? Brandy, you have a leg lamp from a Christmas story? Really? That's freaking awesome. I gotta be careful with this heat heat gun because it's trying to melt my, my piece of ribbon. <laughs> Your mom got it for you as a gag gift? PJ's got one too! <laughs> You love it when the boy freezes his tongue to the pole and the dog eats um, that dog eats the turkey when the Chinese and goes to the Chinese restaurant and Chinese sing to him. Fra ra 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 ra. This is a season to be hoary. Fra ra 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 ra. <laughs> How funny is that? Okay, I gotta let those uh, cool off. And the kid drops the f bomb. Oh my god, it's hilarious! That is one of my favorite Christmas movies. My favorite. That's one of them movies like you don't care how far into the movie it is you will drop whatever you chant you will drop your channel surfing and you will go and uh you will watch that movie and my phone has been unplugged this whole time i'm hoping it don't die now because whenever he wi-fi's it it kills it and he what and my phone is not charging guys that's not cool what has he done That is not cool. It's probably so far low that there it is. It's finally charging. It took a minute. Ugh. Ooh, scared me. It scared me. Sorry, hang on. I gotta figure out what she said. Um. Uh. Did you want another heat tool? I have an extra. Yes! Because this one. Do you have one like this or the one like the gun? Like the handheld gun? It would be awesome if I had another one just in case this one craps out on me. Because as you all know, I use I use it now. I use it quite a bit. Is it like this? Oh, it's uh, it's uh, it's the other kind, the barrel, the long barrel shape kind. If you got if you got that one, that would be just plain awesome. I'm not asking for it. Now you're 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 if you send it, it's your own free will. The embossing barrel type gun. Oh, that was that's awesome. Those are so cool. Yes, if you don't mind, that would be very very awesome. Gotta wait till these cool off because that is a lot of heat on these. Look how cute that these are gonna turn out. Even that color is darkened up. Look at that. I put a little bit of a uh, little bit of glue and glitter in that, and put some red in that. That will that'll be so pretty. But uh, let's see. Let's move this paint out of the way because that actually feels kind of cool now. And put my brush in my water. That way it don't harden up on me. Yeah, you. Yeah. <clears throat> Not have to put another coat of silver on that. I don't know. Uh, what I miss? They came out cute, Emily. Kiki, Emily sells Alley. He sells fifty percent on some things. Some are twenty percent off stores. I got doubles of a lot of craft supplies when my mom's cousin gave up her paper crafting. Oh, <gasps> really? I need a nice pair of scissors. 
I looked at some today, but they were just so flipping expensive. And I got these at the dollar store. And these have been really good scissors. I just need a really good pair of sharp scissors. Because all of my scissors are dulling out from all the paper I'm cutting. <laughs> I'd like to have those ones that uh, Stacy has that we've talked about, the Fiskars scissors, the ones that uh, don't, that are not like this, but they, they're they like spring loaded. I seen them today at Walmart and they were almost $12 and I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, lucky you, Mary, that's awesome. All right, we are going to add some of these on here, but first we gotta figure out which ones we wanna put on here. Sharpen your scissors by cutting tinfoil, no joke. I did that the other day, guys. Literally, where do you think all this tinfoil stuff come from? That's from where I was sharpening my scissors. <laughs> Literally. And I, it worked for a couple of times, but other than that, it, it, it went dull on me. Alright, look how shiny those are. Those are pretty. And all that's glitter and it's stickities. Stickers. And that's got a piece of white on him. Don't want that on there. You bought those yesterday? You're kidding. Finally back, you had to put, what? You had to put three mean kids down for a nap, then you hit, then you had a meltdown. Oh my gosh, I hope you're better. Maybe I will, I will keep you from having another meltdown. Take a breath. It's craft time. It's craft time. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so let's see. Let's put us a pretty Christmas tree on this green background. Actually, we'll put a couple Christmas trees on this one. set on here on the green background. Took pig nuts and cried to heavy for a bit. Oh, I'm sorry, Crystal. I hope things I hope things get better for you, dear. And then let's put uh, Mr. Rudolph right here. And let's have Frosty over here talking to him. Like on uh, Rudolph. I need to get me a little. See that? I got Rudolph and I got Frosty. They're talking to each other. They said hello. Let's see. What are we putting on the other top? Let's see. Well, we, we try. We try and make everybody smile. If you didn't smile in here, there's something wrong with you. Because I'm all the time cracking jokes and trying to make, make everybody laugh or smile. Well, hi, Boho. You missed a bunch of it. But um, we made these cute little um, box ornaments. And right now, we are decorating them. And these are all handmade from a template. Like that. And we and I hand drew this template out and hand cut. Looks like I did the snowflakes yesterday. Everything is hand done. And it's easy. Easy peasy. And I'm about to put me a nice bright red glittery sticker in the center there. And uh oh. I got more of those. Got a whole thingy of those. So if I mess these up. A 
that snowflake right there. Um, we've got so many sides to choose from. Um, already got Rudolph, got Frosty, got the Christmas trees, got the bowl, got the things. Hmm. Let's see what's going to show the most. Uh, you know. Let's do another snowflake. I've got a whole thing of snowflakes, so there ain't no worries of overusing the snowflakes. It's almost like a dice. It'll be pretty when we get it done. And then whenever, uh, if I can get a new Christmas tree, I'll set the little one up that I used to have in here that way we can see all these beautiful ornaments that we have made together what are you all thinking got that i got pretty noah's going to be coming in here in a minute and wine he's hungry oh we've got one two two more sides guys with this one so how about we put another frosty here And let's put a Christmas tree there. And decorate up that corner. Make it look like it's snowing. Got that. This will keep a kid entertained for hours, just looking at the stuff on the on here. Oh, your husky's name is Frosty? Aw. Forty finger daubers for 16. Wow. Thank you, Daisy. And you can, I got, I got, this was stuff that was sent in the mail and I just took the cardboard out of it and used the cardboard and I got these little stickers at the Dollar Tree and then I just painted up the little uh, thing and voila, we've got a Christmas ornament all the way around and we've got one more side. So, and that's, yeah, it's going to be a main side, so let's try another one with Mr. Rudolph. And we'll put another bow in the corner there. Whoop. That'll be big. big. And there we go. And we can put the date or the year like right here in the corner. And so I think that's what we might do. And I might have to find me a scared duck crap out of me. You know what? My pencil sharpener. A nice permanent marker somewhere. I don't think that's permanent. Where is my Sharpie? Where are you? There you are. Let's see if that's going to be a side that shows. No. I think the trees would be more of an open side, so we're going to put December or year 2017. Okay. And we'll probably paint over that with like glitter or something to uh, like a little dice and kids would love to just sit there and look at this thing because if you put it up high you can see the stuff from the bottom if you put it down in the center you can see from the out outside if you put it low you can see from the bottom very pretty and then we've got the blue and white one to go or blue and silver okay Don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Alright, we are going to have to open these up because this is going to be very pretty. It's going to be nothing but snowflakes. Maybe a couple of frosties. Soft frosty and snowflakes. 
Yes, it'll be very pretty against the lights. I hope you guys have learned and would want to do this with your family, especially with kids. Kids would absolutely love to do this. Very fun, happy project to do. Let's see. And these stickers you can get at your Dollar Tree. Big old snowflake. Still got one from here. So yeah, those are the same snowflakes, just different. Okay. So did find those ones, but did find acrylic blue and silver snowflake stickers. Oh, that's awesome. So this is all the Christmas stuff that I have. I mean, the stuff that y'all have seen, Mama Wanda sent to me, and that I and I've had to go buy. I mean, just dollar here and there. This is all the Christmas stuff I have. So if y'all have any extras and you don't mind sending it, I wouldn't be ashamed of taking it. <laughs> says live stream tonight so I don't miss anyone um what is today Monday or Friday uh I think Stacy has her uh pajama party on Fridays sometimes she does them on Saturdays yeah One more side, ladies, and this ornament is DONE done. And let's see how many frosties we got. Let's see, can't have them two side by side. One, two, three, one, two, gonna have some for the little one. And we'll put another frosty there, and another little one. Now to put the date and then go get some glitter. There we go. There we go, ladies. We are finished. Look at that. And under four hours. Oh my God. What is wrong with me? I actually got something done in under four hours. <laughs> there we go. We have been ornament crazy. Now, Monday, I'm going to have something else planned. I don't know. I'll have to do some brainstorming. I'll have to talk to my mama and see if she has any ideas or look at my... Uh, my list that we made on talk about it tuesday and see what my little brain can come up with so i hope that you guys are going to take part in the christmas card challenge and the uh homemade jewelry challenge i would love to see all of your pretty pretty pretties um where is it? Did I bring my blue stick over here? I know I did because I was playing with it. Where is it? Oh, 
Oh, you. Emily, come on. Emily moment. Jeez oh, Louise. Okay, I'm going to put that one to the side. Because. Put that on my scratch off. Because we are going to put some glitter. Red glitter right here on the trees. Wanda took it. Good description of your group. Okay, she's talking about Kiki. Gotcha. Yeah, it has. A lot of them are starting to post to mine, too. Ooh, you're definitely going to make these, especially putting a puzzle piece inside. Ooh. Uh, Emily, send me a list of stuff you need or want, and if I have doubles, they're yours. Uh, the best person to ask, because I have, I have brain farts all the time, is Wanda Bailey in here. You two, you guys get together because she knows exactly what I need and I don't. So get with her. If you have a Facebook, get with her and you two talk and then uh, send it because sometimes I don't even know what I need and she does. That's my mama. <laughs> she knows exactly what I need. Oh, that's too much glue. Yikes. Almost done, darling. I'm about to add the glitter to this ornament. Look at the blue and, and white one. The blue and silver one, it turned out so pretty. Usually not for four hours. I'm at, I'm about done. They're like, <gasps> Mary, send me a PM on Facebook. Mary's gonna send me some stuff, and I told her to get with uh, Mama, and because um, she knows me better than I do, because she t she makes a list of what I need and what I don't need. I love you. <laughs> Baby. That'll be pretty. What is it? It's glitter. It's the date or the year. Well, that kind of bummed out. <laughs> but eh, we can make it stars. <laughs> Put the date down here. I guess we'll just have to keep it black because that's really too thick. For the Lower. I can't. I've <laughs> this is big stuff. Dag nabbit. <laughs> messed that up but that's okay if that's the only thing we messed up that's fine because we can just write it again down here l o heart huh what's it like it's just a space it's just, mm. it's something i'll just yeah we'll just leave it as it is and make it look, look like a little strop <laughs> it's okay it'll be all right because i it's in black lettering the it was in black um Sharpie, but the glitter is going to cover it up, so we'll just make it a long, pretty strip of red there. How about that? Like a ribbon. Yeah, like a ribbon. Speaking a of bow. that, yeah. Speaking of that, I need to make a little bow and put it right here below this. I forgot about that. I was going to do that. I had it in my head. That's totally a bow. Huh? No, not that kind of bow. Out of the ribbons that I got, the Christmas ribbons. Ah, you. Oh, you. Oh! Go away. I hate that and you know it. You do it again, I'm going to hit you. I'm about, I'm about to get down here. Uh. Why did you put the top back on? To keep it from falling. If it falls over, I did it yesterday. I accidentally didn't you put pop it. No, you, it's, it's a twist and I had to use both my hands. I accidentally knocked my real pretty blue glitter over yesterday, and they're like, Don't I was like, I was like, uh oh, what did I, what did you do? I was like, I knocked the glitter over. <laughs> so this is big glitter. I can clean it up easier. My floor has been nothing but a glitter mess for the last few days due to all my glitter play. But everybody knows I'm a glitter, I'm a glitter girl. I am a glitter girl. 
I remember back when I was young, my mom would change, no it's not, my mom would change clothes, do her hair, and put on makeup before dad got home from work. Wow. Not me. He loves me for exactly the way I am. He don't like me wearing makeup. He likes me. I'm not sort of No makeup. No makeup. Um, let's see. That would go good on that. Let's see. This blue would look really pretty on that, but there's too much blue on that. We need to get some, a pop of a different color. Uh, how about the glittery white? That'll be purdy, purdy, purdy. Alright, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make me a bow. I'm not very good at it, so please don't make fun. Wanda, are we friends on Facebook? Well, if you guys aren't friends, you are going to be now. <laughs> This is awfully big ribbon, so I might have to cut this in half. So, we might get two pieces out of this one and put this one on that one. Maybe. Yeah, that sounds like a plan for me. Oh, yep, definitely. Yeah. I don't know how to make bows very good, so if anybody can point me into a really good tutorial, please do. Send me a link. Because <laughs> my bows suck. <laughs> Yeah, they really, really suck. Kiki, Kiki will help keep the home fire for it. What? Uh, this will have to do. Hope you enjoy you'll see how to do this look that actually came out half decent sort of <laughs> see sort of not the best in the world not the I don't give myself an A I give myself a C on it <laughs> my little phalange things are not wanting to stick up but I'm just gonna kind of tacky glue those to the top of that anyway to go honey you have to go no worries you leave when you want to leave I'm not holding you by the balls and saying you stay here <laughs> hope you feel better sweetie you got big balls oh boy is it like that much you know must be quite a lot. Good thing since she doesn't have those. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I'm glad you said something. 
I tried to find those dang styrofoam balls that uh, everybody's wanting me to make an ornament from because I was going to surprise you guys and try it. But guess what? I can't find them at Walmart. I can't find them at the Dollar Tree. And I, I can't find them anywhere else. There's no other craft stores or anything out here. And I can't find them. Dang it. And there's the bow. I mean, the balls that they had, they were like little tiny things. I want the ones that are about the fist size. The ones you can make a real nice size ornament out of. Now, they had the clear plastic balls, but it's not the ones that you could open up. It's the ones that has the, the little stopper at the top. Uh. Well, they have a, they have, they have some, but they're not, they're not very big at all. Oh, y'all are still talking about the balls. Have mercy. I did. That's exactly where I went to check was the flower section. And they had the green pieces, the long rectangular pieces. I know that you can carve, but that is such a mess to even make a circle out of a rectangle. That, that's just a mess waiting to happen. But there is the... There is the bow. I think I did pretty good. Right there. And I think I'll put 2017 in the center of the uh, of the flower or the snowflakes. Since that other one kind of didn't make it to the second round, ding ding. So yeah, we got that one drying. I'll put, ooh, don't fall and mess my bow up. Thank you, please. Please and thank you. All right. Now I'll see how that hangs. Yeah. I'll have to put something right there. I'll have to save the little scrappy doos of ribbon. Because we can use that on another project. Ugh. I think that one twisted up on me. The shiny sides inside. Crap. This sent your friendly press. Huh? Well, I missed something here. Somebody sent me something. Oh well. I'll figure out what it is when I come off of here. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? And it did it anyway. Dag nabbit! Ugh! Really? I'm wasting all the glittery stuff on this piece of ribbon because it won't cooperate. Really? Be nice to me, please. Be really nice. Oh, you. You. <laughs> Man. Really? It's driving me nuts, ladies. Alright, third time's a charm, right? 
I'm getting this glitter stuff all over me and taking it off all the ribbon. Might have to sweep all that up and put it in the iridescent bottle of glitter that I have. Yeah, like I said, if y'all have any like ribbon tying or bow making thing, like out of small, you have a bow maker to put in your box. What? Do I have a what? I don't have a bow maker. Alright, that one turned out a little better than, than the others did. Like I said, third time's a charm. Oh, yes. Whew. Anyway. Alright, I'm getting this sucker cut and glued on before it decides it wants to mess up on me. Mary, that's awesome. See, it, it worked for what it's going to be used for. I mean, heck far. Look at how pretty that turned out, ladies. Yes, I will need instructions with that. I'm kind of illiterate whenever it comes to doing things. You, I'll have to look at it 400 times before I can figure it out. But all I need is a picture. <laughs> but yeah, send me instructions, please. <laughs> is Joyce here to put me in the corner again? I I think she Joyce left. Yes, you are a big sweetie. Very very. I'm very thankful. Very thankful. And I use just about everything that anybody ever sends me. I may have a, a may look like a lot, but I use things that people send me. I make things from Happy Mail that people send me. But anyway, that is our little craft this evening. I'm glad you guys came in, even though I was a little late. And I had so many people in here, and I'm very, very thankful for all of those uh, new faces and new subscribers. And um, all these people <laughs> are coming in to view me. I'm just I'm just over the moon with it. <laughs> just sharing what was given to me and glad to help out. Oh, well, thank you, Mary. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you take it to your children and do a special art project with them. If you have children, nieces, nephews, it doesn't have to be your children. It can be uh, someone else's family member that you're just babysitting or something. I'm going to put all this in just one. Yeah, that's going to get, that little bitty is going to get mixed in there with that. That's okay. Makes it even more shimmery. Probably even got a little bit of glue transferred in there. I'll just shake it up. It'll just get mixed on up in there. Yeah, because I don't see it no more. <laughs> Alright. Well, I think that concludes our little session for today. But you all will not see me again until Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Same time, well, not same time, probably about 12 o'clock my time, and I'll put post up in the group when I'm going to be going live. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, ladies, for coming in and uh, crafting with me. And if you are not a part of the group, please go and check out my group site, Creative Jewels by Emily. Um, we are a very crafty and friendly group, and we enjoy seeing everybody's work. And we're very encouraging, so uh, there's no negativity. And if, if there is, it's it's gone before anybody else can see it. Because mm, I have several administrators here that will 
take care of it before it starts. So, um, please feel free to come in and take a look. But please be a member and don't forget about our challenges that we are doing. We are making four Christmas cards and putting them in the group. And after the challenge is over, you can send them out uh, to random people if you would like. Or you can hoard them and stick them in your pile and save them for next year. Who knows? But anyway, uh, the, the other challenge is uh, make a piece of homemade jewelry. It doesn't matter what you make it out of as long as you post it in the group. Um, that's all I ask. Post it in the group and you might even get a nice little uh, surprise gift from me. So, I hope you guys had a wonderful day and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening. And I love you all. God bless. Have a great night. Have a good night.